What defines a reliable engine? One of the key aspects is surely their maintenance, meaning how well were they taken care of. But we all must agree that some kind of manufacturer's magic trickery is in cars as well. Talking about the most reliable car brands is boring and doesn't tell much. Let's delve into what specific engines are truly long runners. Mercedes OM606 Mercedes is known for building reliable engines. Well, at least back in past. There are many units worth a note, but the OM606 is one of the most popular of them all. They normally aspirated diesel are easily capable of 300,000 miles, 480,000 kilometers without an overhaul and still runs wrong. Its turbo brother can hold a lot more boost than stock, something like a diesel 2JZ. AMC inline 6. Browsing down the forums, the AMC's inline 6s are mentioned over and over again. The series was launched in the 60s and varied from 3.3 up to 4.6 liters. They are rather low revving and underrated in terms of technical numbers. People describe them as durable and capable to withstand a lot of abuse while still running strong. Toyota 1UZFE Toyota makes some of the most reliable engines, but the 1UZ must be noted amongst the first. Back in time, it is said to be an advanced engine, and up to today, there are really no design errors or major issues with it known. It is an extremely reliable motor and normally does not need an overhaul even beyond a quarter of a million miles. <laughs> Volkswagen 1.9 TDI PD The ubiquitous 1.9 TDI, by many including me a hated engine due to the ovenness and their behavior, but overall a pretty good engine. It was one of the first TDIs to exist and possibly thanks to it, the TDI name received a good reputation of a reliable unit, especially using the Pumpedusa injection system which lacks the pump timing issues and troubles common amongst the common rail systems.
BMW M30, following an introduction of the smaller size M20 series, the M30 was nicknamed as the Big Six. These engines were produced for nearly 30 years, and the oldest ones are almost a half a century old. It is only a natural thing to find a problem or two with it, but it also belongs to the 300 Grand Miles Club if maintained properly. <laughs> Mercedes OM617. It seems that this is the number one on the internet to be the most reliable thing in the world. Seriously, feedback on this engine is very positive, not once a half a million mileage has been mentioned. The main thing is to have the valve adjusted properly and regularly, as well as the injection pump time right. Volvo B18 The Volvo B18 and B20 are another extreme series of engines dominating the forums. The B18 is a simple engine, a block, one or two carburetors and an OHV head on top of that which still allows for the 6500 rpm limiter. This is the very same engine installed in the famous Volvo P1800 which today should clock over 3 million miles, 4 million and 800 thousand kilometers on the odometer. And allegedly it wasn't the only one surpassing the 1 million milestone. Toyota 22R. Some might not agree with this one, as there are a couple of problems with the 22R, but they mostly concern the 1983 and after types in which dual timing chain was swapped for a single one. The 20R engine also used the older and more reliable system. As a result, the 20R and 22R are known as very reliable and torquey engines. Cummins 6BT. The good old mechanical pump in Cummins 6BT was, according to the manufacturer, designed for 350,000 miles, 560,000 kilometers, despite which they don't seem to weaken out even beyond a half a million. Unlike its successor, the 6BT is of a simple design using a Bosch injection pump and 12 valves instead of 24.
GM3800. Amongst GM engines, the all-iron 3800 receives a lot of love. The 3800 was sold as a supercharged and also turbocharged in the big Grand National GNX for instance, but the NA are the ones worth the most respect. Dozens are said to go over 300,000 miles without having a head of ones. Supposedly there is or was one which crossed 565,000 miles. Thank <laughs> you.